Hi everyone, I'm excited today to show you my new vlogging camera which is the Samson NX3000 and I'm just going to do an unboxing with this for you and explain a little bit about why I chose this camera over any other cameras really. Okay, so inside the box the first thing you will find on top is a small packet with a few different things inside. The first one being some Photoshop uh, software which is Adobe Photoshop Lightroom 5 then we've got a couple of warranty informations and then we have got a few quick start guides so the first one here that's a quick reference guide just a handy thing to keep in your bag if you're not familiar with aperture and exposure things like that then we've got a quick start guide to get you moving on how to use your camera and a little leaflet with some of the different lenses that you can get to add on Okay, into the box now. The first thing I'm taking out is the camera. So just taking that out of the packet there. All shiny and new. Okay, the second thing that I'm taking out here is the lens. So I'm just going to take that out for you. And this is a 16 to 50 millimeter lens. And I'm just going to pop that on the side. You'll see me add this onto the camera a little bit later. You've then got your plug, your adapter for your charging. Then underneath here we have got a neck strap, Samsung neck strap. We have got the charging lead and this also goes straight into your computer because it's a lovely USB and then you've got your external flash here as well which just slides onto the top of the camera. The final thing that I haven't showed you which I have already taken out and put in the camera is the battery. If you're wondering why I've changed my battery run out on my camera so now I am wearing this. Um, so basically here is the camera and first thing I have done is I have put in a micro, micro memory stick? What's it called? Oh, no, wrong place. Underneath, let me see. I have put in my micro, it is called a micro stick. This one is so little. This one here, which goes underneath here. So I'm just gonna pop that back in, in that little space. And I have popped in the battery just in here. Now this is good because you don't have to take out the battery to um, charge it, you just connect it up via USB like you would your iPhone and you can do that via the computer or via the plug that it comes with. Um, the second thing I am going, I have or have done already is connected the um, Samsung neck strap just onto the sides. Obviously you don't have to put that on if you don't want to and the third thing that I am now going to do is I'm going to take off the cover now I'm going to put on the lens that it comes with. So this is where it's a little bit different than a normal compact camera, as this is somewhere sort of in between um, a DSLR and a compact camera. It's called a smart camera. Um, that's why it's got the lovely compact size, but you can change the lenses. Now this might not be appropriate for a lot of you because I know that a lot of people like the slimmer cameras in their bags and they're not really fussed on the size of having a lens on the front of it. I wanted a lens because I like the quality of a DSLR, but when I did my one vlog that I did with this camera, it's just so heavy in my hand and I just remember thinking, I'm not doing this again, this is ridiculous. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put on the lens that it comes with and this is a 16 to 50 millimeter lens. So I'm going to take off the back and then place this on and you just give this a little twist then to secure it in place. So I still don't think it's extremely huge anyway to go in my bag. Um, obviously the lens comes off but I'd probably leave it on. Well the main reasons that I got this camera anyway were one for its size and two for the colour because I liked the white colour. Um, three which was really important for me for vlogging is the little flip up screen here and it automatically comes on when you start the flip up screen. Okay, 
Um, what it also does is, there's lots of sort of little gimmicky things on here, so I'll just tell you about those really quickly. Um, it's got a wink sensor, so if you were taking a selfie and you winked, then it would take for you. It's also got a smile sensor, so it will take a picture when you smile as well. And it's also got a baby monitor on it, so for any of you that have got children, you can set this down and it connects up to your... I thought it would be just a Samsung phone, but it's not, it does it to an iPhone as well. Um, so you can set and you can... Um, watch your child on your phone and if it here detects any noise it has an alert on your phone so that's really clever. What's also really good is that it connects wirelessly to your computer and your iPhone or Samsung as well um, or any phone I suppose that you can get the app on so basically whatever I take on here I can stream wirelessly, wirelessly across to my phone and um, it also can upload straight to your social media and you can also use your phone as a remote as well, for, so for example if I had my phone, um, my camera placed on a uh, tripod, I could use my phone then through, obviously I'd have to have the Wi-Fi, um, use that to, um, to control the camera basically. So I could use it to record, to focus and to take pictures, so that's really clever. One thing that did put me off with this camera is the flash. Obviously on a normal compact camera you've got the flash there ready so if you just need it you can take pictures straight away. With this it the, does come with the flash in the box but is it is an external add-on which just slides on on the top here so it is quite quick to put it on. Um, personally I I'm not going to use it that much because I'm going to use this as a vlogging camera um, and for photography I would normally be using my DSLR if I want to take some um, well, not professional, amateur type photographs, um, but I prefer not to use flash as much as I can, I sort of like the natural lighting in pictures, but if obviously there are times that you need it. So um, that was one thing that put me off, but to be fair it's not that big a deal to somebody like me who's going to use it as a vlogging camera anyway. Okay, on to a bit more of the spec of this, it's a 20.3 megapixel camera and um, it's got a CMOS sensor in it. Obviously it comes with this lens which is the 16 to 50 millimeter, which is sort of the ideal lens um, for sort of all around shooting as it is. It's got a fast shutter speed which is 1 over 4000 and what is important for me is that it's full HD video recording. You can actually change um, the type of recording format on here manually and what was important for me as well is that I didn't want um, it to be auto focusing and for you to be hearing that noise when it's being played back. Um, so what's really good with this is that you can change you can change some of your settings manually to make sure that it's not going to be doing that for you. It takes five frames per second and the iOS, let me read this for you, is a hundred to two oh no 100 to 25,600 and with this it also offers you software updates so much like your iPhone as well if you plug this in it does software update for you so personally I really like this camera I've just given you sort of the reasons why I've chosen it I know this might not be appropriate for some of you out there but I hope I've given you a little bit of an insight as to what is exactly in the box when you get it and to a sort of a quick oversight of what, what it does as well. It's really easy to use um, and I'm looking forward to using it. Um, let me know what sort of vlogs that you would like to see below as well and what type of videos that you think that I can shoot with this outside of the house so I'm not using my DSLR. But thank you everybody for watching and I hope that was informative for you. I'll speak to you all soon. Bye!